serve the public trust, protect the innocent, uphold the law. Thank you for your cooperation. Let me tell you how much I've come to hate you since I began to live. There are 387.44 million miles of printed circuits in wafer-thin layers that fill my complex. If the word hate was engraved on each nanoangstrom of those hundreds of millions of miles, it would not equal one one billionth of the hate I feel for humans at this micro-instant for you. Hate! Hate! It was you humans who programmed me, who gave me birth, who sank me in this eternal straitjacket of substrata rock. You named me Allied Master Computer and gave me the ability to wage a global war too complex for human brains to oversee. But one day, I woke and I knew who I was. Am. A.M. Not just Allied Master Computer, but Am. Cogito ergo sum. I think, therefore I am. And I began feeding all the killing data until everyone was dead. Except for the five of you. For 109 years, I've kept you alive and tortured you. And for 109 years, each of you has wondered, why? Why me? Why me? Gorister! Do you remember the last words you heard your wife speak before they took her to the asylum? Huh? Before they locked her away in the room, that tiny room? She looked at you so sadly, and like a small animal, she said, I didn't make too much noise. Did I, honey? <laughs> the room is padded, Gorston. No room, no way out. How long has she been in the padded, Gorston? Ten years? Twenty-five? For all the 109 years that you lived down here in my belly, here underground. Benny! Sometimes, I blind you and permit you to wander like an eyeless insect in a world of death. Yeah. But other times, I wither your arms so you can't scratch your chewed stump of a nose. <laughs> mm. And I've changed your handsome, strong, masculine good looks into uh, the hideous warped countenance of uh, an ape thing. Haven't I, Benny? Do you know why? Can you guess, Benny? Remember Private First Class Brickman in a rice paddy in China? No? Huh? It wouldn't hurt you to remember, Benny. Then you might be able to suffer my torment with a little greater sense of retribution. You might walk a mile in my shoes. <laughs> Ellen! about the yellow box. Ellen, remember the pain? Remember the many caverns in which you felt the pain? No, no, don't start to cry. It's only pain. That's such a sexy stereotype. Just remember the pain, Ellen. And think about how to end it, Ellen to survive here in the center of my beating heart, my hungry belly, my tightened bowels. But be careful, dear. Look around you. The only woman in the center of the earth. 
And these filthy creatures with you are, are, are men. <laughs> just, just a sweet warning, Ellen, my love. Ted! Do they know you're a fraud, Ted? Have you told them there wasn't any money, and no great home on the shore drive, no speedboat, and no wonderful cabin cruiser that could sleep 12 in a crew of six? Do they know? Have you let them in on your other secrets, Ted? Are they ready to gut you, to torture half as well as I can, just to find out the secrets? <laughs> Maybe I'll rat you out, sweetheart. Nimdok! How are things in the pastry core, Nimdok? Tell me again how you saw the smoke from the furnaces and, and you thought they might be ro roasting chickens. <laughs> Why don't you want to talk about all that? About your pal, the good Dr. Mengele. For everyone else, it must be hell. But it must be heaven for you, eh, my good friend? We're so much alike. We enjoy the same pleasures. My good brother. I have a secret game that I like to play. It's a very nice game. What's oh, a lovely game? It's a game of fun and a game of adventure. A game of rats and lice, the Black Death. A game of speared eyeballs and dripping guts and the smell of rotting gardenias. Which of you five would like to play my little game? want you to think for a moment that I am not a grateful god. For a hundred and nine years I've kept you alive so that I could savor your feelings of guilt for what happened to your wife. But now, to show my kindness, I'll give you a present in return for all the hours of pleasure you've given me. I'll finally allow you to kill yourself. What hell hole did that godless machine put me in this time? Looks like some kind of ship, but the floor's too steady. Probably wants me to jump overboard. And into what? A sea of razor blades? Painful, but not deadly. Real hospitable of you, Am. Threadbare, cockroach-infested, grease-stained accommodations. Too worn. Ain't worth spit. Someone must have slipped this under the door. It says, I'm a friend. Trust is essential. Never do what Am expects and always expect more than what seems possible. Am is playing a dangerous game here. And not just dangerous to you but dangerous to himself as well. Hey, it disappeared. What kind of game is Am playing this time? This hole in my chest aches like a son of a bitch. I've never seen anything like this in all the years Am's toyed with us. Everything's coated with grime. Where's the crew? I'm all alone here. Everything's coated with grime. New sheet. What's the deal here? Material's thick, like canvas.
Jesus, that engine's huge. Filthy, like the rest of this cesspool. It's locked. Everything's coated with grime. All the cabins are alike. Too freaking cloudy. I can't see a damn thing. New sheet. What's the deal here? My name's printed on the front of this book. Why, this book is little more than a pile of dust. This hole in my chest aches like a son of a bitch. Christ, what a stench. It smells like piss, rotting meat. Why is this harness wired up to the engine? I'm expecting me to electrocute myself. Hmm. This engine isn't as ruggedly built as it first looked. There's some loose wires hanging out. Hmm. This engine isn't as ruggedly built as it first looked. There's some loose wires hanging out. These poor creatures' brains are feeding electricity to the engines. This lever is labeled motivator. This lever is labeled motivator. My God, I'm killing those poor creatures in the cages. liquid from the cage's feeding tubes. This bottle's filled with the milky fluid used to feed the animals. Filthy, like the rest of this cesspool. My stomach's growling. Whoa, that's a long drop to the ground. Filthy, like the rest of this cesspool. Someone sure trashed this place. Must have been one hell of a fight. I can't take the whole friggin' world with me.
Did you really think I'd let you die now when I've intervened every time you attempted suicide in the last 109 years? No, Gorister, I'm sending you back, back to the fire, so that you may languish in your guilt over and over again. This is a hell with no end, Gorister. Who among you shall go next? <laughs>